Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video, another Geography Now video, and this time we're doing Barbados. Yes, Barbados is in the house. I believe Bar Barbados is in like a small island country with a lot of tourism, right? I think so. I think so. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to it. By the way, my name is Paul, and this is uh, my channel, Canadian Snowman, and if you don't mind, please hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Please and thank you, and let's get to it, guys. By the way, that's a cool flag. All right, let's get to it. Rihanna's from here. What? It's time to learn geography. Hey everybody, I'm your host Paul Barbado, not nice Barbado. Name. I grew up with that a lot as a kid. And today we're gonna upgrade us <laughs> to the Barbados. So let's dissect the flag. And trust me, this one's gonna be insanos. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! The first thing you may notice Bam. on the flag is that there is a freaking trident on it. Commonly cool. referred to as the broken trident, it represents the nation of Barbados breaking away from the historical constitutional ties as a former British colony. The three points represent the three principles of democracy, government of, for, and by the people. The vertical band yeah. of gold representing the sands of Barbados' beaches, and the nice. blue represents the sea and the sky of Barbados. I like flags with weapons. It is pretty cool. All right, you're definitely at the top of the list. You're around the top of the list, Barbados would fly. Just, that's just a cool because like you have a weapon and then the colors go with it. Very cool. All right, so here's where Barbados is located. Barbados is located in the Atlantic Ocean, just east of St. Vincent and the Grenadines in the Caribbean. You would think Barbados is part of the Caribbean, but you would be wrong and fail really? because technically it's located 100 miles away in the Atlantic Ocean, but you're not that wrong and fail because it's also considered part of the Caribbean by pretty much everybody else, so it's not that big of a deal, and I'm sorry, <laughs> I love you guys. Anyway, essentially, Barbados is kind of awkwardly stuck between the two. It's like Vampire Caribbean and Werewolf Atlantic. Barbados, I will always love you for all eternity. No Barbados, I am the only one for you. I will really? always love you. <laughs> a lot of people say that the shape of Barbados looks like a pear or a leg of mutton. I personally think it looks like a thumbs up, just without any of the other fingers. Yeah! In terms of its borders, things are gonna get really easy because Barbados is just one single island. Like, seriously, there are no other affiliated islands. It's just one lonely island. The total okay. land area is about 430 square kilometers and has a coastline length of about 97 kilometers, so you could drive around the entire island in less than a day, or you could power crawl across the entire island in about 30 hours with no rest and no stops. The capital is Bridgetown, wow. located in the southwest part of the island, and the country is divided up into 11 parishes, and each parish you can find delightfully named towns like Friendship and Pie Corner. I wish this whole country was made of pie. Is it? Let's find out in... Make me hungry. No, it's not made of pie. And unlike many of the other islands in the area, it's made up of over 85% coral limestone. Mmm, mm. lime. Barbados is also unique in that its geographic location avoids catastrophe very well. Let's elaborate. First of all, if you look at the map, all the other islands of the Lester Antilles form an arc alongside a tectonic plate and are like volcanic and stuff. Barbados is <laughs> way out on the east and does not have any volcanoes. And add on top of that, it's outside of the hurricane belt, meaning that most hurricanes generally miss or barely graze Barbados. Barbados is all like, man, whatever, I do what I want. I don't need no volcano, y'all. I'm. That's awesome. I didn't realize that. I thought like it was gonna be like, you know, like all those islands, you know, were could get nailed by a hurricane, but it's, it doesn't. So that's got to be cool. Got to be like, nice hot enough sleep as it at night. Is. And y'all hurricanes, out of my faith. Out of my faith. Barbados, just like many of the other Caribbean islands, is generally flat. But now here's the thing. A lot of the land is arable, about three quarters, but they aren't really dependent on agriculture anymore. Before the 1950s, Barbados was kind of like on a sugar high. Sugar production dominated the economy, but like most sugar highs, <laughs> Seizure and death. Nah, just kidding. No, but seriously, sugar prices dramatically fell. 
Fortunately, Barbados was smart and shifted their focus to other means of revenue like tourism, business, and like many other adorable islands, offshore banking sectors, as they decided to become kind of somewhat of a tax haven, which drew in tons of international investors. Which okay. just goes to show, not charging people for things will definitely make them like you. Oh yeah, and Barbados has some beautiful beaches, coral reefs, and caves. But they've uh. always been huge fans of rum. In fact, they are home to the oldest rum distillery in the world, which opened up in the piratey years of the early 1700s. Mount Gay, <laughs> gay, Mount Gay Rum. There's a saying that Barbados has as many churches as rum shops, and to this day, rum alone makes up about 9% of the entire economy. Most of the rum was made from whatever leftover sugar was from the sugar high. Church sugar rum, that's all you need in Barbados. Toss in a Rihanna and then bam. Well, Rihanna is one Barbadian, but let's talk about the rest. Good. Hey, what do you call a newborn Barbadian? A Barbabian. <laughs> Okay, I just had to open this with something. Barbados has about 285,000 people or a few more than Vanuatu. 90% of all Barbadians are of Afro-Caribbean descent or mixed descent, and the remaining 10% of the population include groups of Europeans along with Asians. As mentioned before, there are lots of churches in Barbados as 95% of the population identifies as Christian, of which 70% are regularly active. The largest denominations are Anglican and the other branches like Methodists and Baptists. Barbados is also known to live long. Barbados and Japan have the highest per capita occurrences of centurions in the world. Must be something in that rum. Barbados is the only country in the Caribbean to have been a colony of the British Empire for over 300 years, which is why it is affectionately called sometimes as Little England. Of course, English is the official uh. language, but with a distinguishable but subtle Barbadian dialect known as Bajan. Located in the southwest part of the country is Bridgetown, the capital, which has a little bit more than a third of the population. Bridgetown keeps it old school. They like to maintain a lot of their colonial buildings from a long time ago. Also, if you go to Barbados, yeah. you'll most likely return as they have the highest repeat visitor factor in the region at 39% mainly because Barbadians are so super nice and friendly. Also, it's so great to visit that it's one of the only places in the world that George Washington ever traveled outside of the U.S. Of course, culturally, yeah. they enjoy a lot of steel drum calypso music, carnival, and they have a harvest festival called Crop Up. So and more cool. recently, Rihanna's birthday has actually become a very important day for Barbados. And whenever she comes back, the locals, they'll tell you that they love her, they're proud of her, but they don't treat her like royalty. She's just like one of the family. Barbadians are also flying fish fanatics. They have flying fish coins, flying fish sculptures, flying fish on their coat of arms, flying fish holograms That's on cool. their passports. They're even known as the land of the flying fish. And the national dish is cuckoo, which is a paste made out of cornmeal and okra and flying fish. They love flying fish so much that they eat them as you do with everything that you love. Finding Nemo got it wrong. In Barbados, fish are friends and food. <laughs> Speaking of friends. I am hungry. Barbados loves people. For the most part, they have great relationships with all of their neighbors, especially the ones in the CARICOM community, as Barbados was a founding member of CARICOM. Many of Barbadians actually also have family members in many of these island nations. They have six official on-site embassies for other countries, but also have many off-site embassies for countries like Colombia, Denmark, and France, hosted in other countries like Jamaica, Mexico, and Belgium. Otherwise, they have nearly 20 consulates in other countries. When it comes to the UK, not only do they have a tight historical relationship, but also a modern day diplomatic one that displays a great cultural affection. Barbados is a Commonwealth country with Queen Elizabeth as technically the head of state. And to this day, Barbados has more British nationals living in it than any other country in the Caribbean and the third in the Americas after the US and Canada. In terms of their best friends, they more or less might consider Trinidad and Tobago. Granted, in the past, they did have territorial disputes over maritime boundaries, and there was that one song that Macfinal wrote that kind of pissed off the Barbadians when he said Barbados was part of Trinidad and Tobago. But all of that aside, they get along amazingly well and love to see each other whenever the opportunity comes for them to visit. The two countries also signed an agreement to construct a 177-mile-long liquid natural gas pipeline between the two to share resources and energy. Wow, really? In conclusion, Barbados is... You know, I can't even do this. Rihanna, why didn't you answer my tweets? I tweeted you like four times. Come on. You had this opportunity. <laughs> Stay tuned. Belarus is coming up next. Oh, that's fast. I want to see more of the beaches. Huh. Seems like a very like fascinating, just cool country. I like, you know, that it's outside the hurricane zone. And it's got beautiful beaches. It's got, I don't know, it's got a lot going on. And Surprise that there's not usually they have a bunch of little little scattered little islands around, but there's not. It's just an island shaped as a pear, as you said, or a thumbs up. I don't know. Anyone let anyone watching this who lives in Barbados? How do you guys like it? I like it there. I 
I love to visit a bunch of those places out in the Caribbean. I just think it'd be a, I mean, I guess it's not part of the Caribbean, but I just think, you know, just the beaches and the scenery would just be beautiful to see. But, so I'm going to have to make a stop there. <laughs> but anyways, please hit the like and subscribe, guys. And look out for more future videos because I'm going to go through the whole list of geography now. Off in countries, and we're just in the bees right now. Uh, I think there's a bunch more bees to come, so definitely uh, stick around and check those ones out too. And yeah, stick around and check out the, the other fascinating, cool videos I've done. As you know, I do a lot of geography and war stuff, you know, so definitely check those out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in future videos. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much for hanging out with me.